Very helpful. <laughs> Not quite sure where we are. Somewhere over here, perhaps. Hmm. Interesting. I guess it's this way. This is probably like the least, the least documented hike that I've been on. At least documented on the internet hike that I've been on. That was a weird sentence. Oh, but damn, it's beautiful. So good. I'm definitely, uh, I definitely have to make sure you check the map where you're going because it's not a very well marked off path. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really stunning. Oh, look at these trees. The air is crisp. So good.
do it on purpose. <laughs> Still good. <laughs> Second time I've tripped over today. <laughs> the first time was, I was like walking up a hill and then my laces got like hooked together because it on my shoe or whatever. And uh, my, this camera was like strapped to here. <laughs> But the lens broke the fall, so we're good. We're good, it's just a bit scratched. Fuck, that really hurt my shin. Oh. <laughs> Dragon potato, potato snack, salty potato. Things are amazing. This is Look at that shit. So strange, but so good. Mmm. So good. So I was actually supposed to uh, climb another mountain that's next to this one called Shiraga Sake, Mount Shiraga. Yeah, it's a little late. It's not so late. Maybe I could have made it, but I kind of didn't really want to risk like getting there too late and then it gets too dark and I get lost and it's all dangerous. So, uh, yep, I'm stopping here. Uh, it's a pretty good view actually. It's really beautiful. Even last time, even though I'm pretty sure it was a perfect avocado, still people were saying the avocado was too brown. So today I've brought in the actual avocado. It's not been chopped already. Hopefully it'll be good, but if it's not, I blame Luke. <laughs> oh. 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 See if I can chop this bad boy open with a paddle pop stick. <laughs> okay, all right. Ja -ja. Not great there, but not bad. Good sauce. Ah, this is a pretty damn good avocado. If anyone disapproves of this avocado, I will, I will do nothing because it is over the internet. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful avocado. Do you remember last time how I said that would have been better with salt and pepper? I could do with a bit of salt and pepper. Ah, uh, it's a little, it's a little crusty, but. Salt and pepper, baby. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Forgot to bring veggie ham. So, mashed up some chickpeas with salt, pepper, cumin. And I think that's it. So just dump it on, maybe like this. 
Wonderful. Giant slab of lettuce. And the avocado. Eh. Beautiful. <laughs> this is the messiest one so far. Oh, the salt and pepper is so good. Mm. What a completely unexpectedly beautiful day this was. Um, I'm gonna tell you all about how I got here and all of that, but first I would like to thank this video's sponsor, which is Storyblocks. Uh, Storyblocks, if you have not heard, is an online subscription site and basically they provide you with everything from stock videos, stock photos, sound effects, copyright free music, After Effects templates, stuff that I don't even understand how to use and you can use unlimited amounts of it with their affordable plans. I actually, even though I'm using a new camera, I'm still kind of had a couple of issues with the audio which is really great, I love that for me. So I um, had to borrow some of their sound effects from Storyblocks and they always work the charm. It really, it really does take my videos to the next level having good quality audio. I think a lot of people skip on that when they're making videos. But anywho, uh, if you are making videos in any capacity, whether that's for clients or just for YouTube or just for yourself, it's really, really so valuable having a subscription service like this. So if you are interested, go to storyblocks.com slash currently Hannah to go and check them out. And as always, if you support my sponsors, it helps support me because then I get more sponsorships like this and then I make these videos possible. Thank you so much to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Uh, and now I can tell you about the rest of my trip. So I actually found out about this place from Tom Fay on Twitter. He reached out to me because he does a lot of hikes and he's got a book about hiking the Alps in Japan. He's, he's very knowledgeable on hikes. So he told me about this um, little hike. And to get there, I just caught the train to Furuichi Station. Then it was like a 45 minute walk to the trailhead. Uh, and I'll put the coordinates down in the description below because there's like no information on English about it. Uh, so if you'd like to do a similar trip, it's, it's really nice because it's only like, it's like an hour and a half away from Osaka Station. It's, it's so nice to just go on like a quick little day trip away, especially, especially in the morning when there's low clouds are kind of floating on through the valley. Oh, just beautiful. Uh, but yeah, anywho, thanks for watching this all the way to the end. Have a very Merry Christmas because I think this will be the last video that I make before Christmas. So yeah, um, Merry Christmas. Bye.